Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. My name is uh, Hamza Godfrey, Hamza Brian Godfrey. My situation was uh, being young at the time of coming to Islam, 18, 19. I actually was uh, unfortunately boyfriend girlfriend with a uh, Muslim, and uh, unfortunately they weren't practicing. But the bottom line for me to marry her was I had to be Muslim. We ended up breaking apart as, as, as a result of too much trouble from her parents, uh, pressuring me to be Muslim to marry her. And I didn't see it to be right because they weren't practicing, so if they're not, why should I? Uh, but then over that one year break, or after being separated from her, uh, quite instantly I, I come into Islam because uh, an associate of mine was uh, hassling me as such to go to church, he was a born again Christian, and uh, I, I went really just to get him off my back, to get the pressure off him, off myself. There was a brother there who was there doing dawah, and uh, alhamdulillah, Allah SWT in his ways, he put me in the car with him on the way back home, and the drive home took about an hour, and uh, just the, the questioning from this brother, uh, just the, the concept I had of Islam, which was basically negative before going by the media, was totally false, and what I thought I knew of my own religion was extremely uh, minimal, was yet again false, and uh, I was just surprised by really, in a sense, what religion is. And uh, over a period of a year or so, uh, just slowly learning bit by bit, on a weekly basis, I, um, alhamdulillah, gained a bit of knowledge, and uh, a year or so later, a year and a half later, I got to the point where I had to take shahada and finally accept Islam. Well, after, alhamdulillah, of accepting Islam, I, uh, I'd maintained minimal contact with this girl because we lived so close and we would see each other sometimes out uh, innocently at a shop or something. Uh, after accepting Islam, alhamdulillah, I went back to the family. Um, and alhamdulillah, of accepting Islam by choice, by being the truth, not because to marry her or for that family in any way whatsoever. Uh, I said to him, I'm Muslim now, alhamdulillah, and inshallah we get married proper, the proper way, Islamic way, what, what Islam decrees is the way it should be done. And uh, unfortunately I had trouble. Um, she would visit. If no one was at my place, I'd have to explain to her, I can't let you in. Um, uh, which was a bit upsetting for her because we were unfortunately out of lack of knowledge um, and this being strange to her, uh, she initially felt hard to deal with. Uh, other minor things such as the dress code was a bit of a problem. Um, as, uh, unfortunately, it comes back to lack of knowledge and understanding, really knowing what the religion was for them. Uh, so therefore, this seems so strange to her and I guess to the family in a sense. Um, we had actually, before we broke up, got engaged. Um, which was looking back now had nothing was extremely un-Islamic, unfortunately. Um, so now by coming back and wanting to do it the, the correct way, as best as I knew back then at the time, it was just totally different to them, and uh, this was very hard for them to grasp. So uh, we were only together for again for a very short period of time, but as of too much trouble with little problems such as her coming out when no one was there and being frustrated because we couldn't let her in dress code, uh, little things, me just wanting to, to gain some knowledge, just learn, uh, just start learning how to pray, you know, getting to used to, the, to dressing somewhat properly, um, was a battle. And um, after a certain period of time, while we're trying to arrange the wedding, I got to the stage where I just had to openly say, before you ask me, just ask, does Islam allow this? And if Islam allows this, then inshallah I won't have a problem with it. But if Islam doesn't allow it, then you don't need to ask me because that is what we have to follow. So it's a no. Simple as that. Uh, this got rather frustrating because unfortunately a lot of questions that were being asked received a no answer, but they couldn't understand why and maybe they thought it was a bit extreme. Um, and, and so it was quite frustrating to deal with and ultimately it got to the point where um, 
I had to call it off, unfortunately, um, because it, w it was just an uphill battle. It was just an uphill battle for it to be done correct. I want a segregation. They were giving all the reasons why we shouldn't do segregation. Uh, music wasn't too much of a battle. They wanted music, but I said no music. I wanted to do the signing of the papers uh, at the masjid. So the problem with the music wasn't too much of a battle. Uh, we overcome that, but the problem was segregation. It was, a, it was a challenge because they wanted to... They would have liked music. Segregation, they made excuses or reasons why not to do it, it's too difficult, nobody really does it these days, it's not really necessary and so forth. Um, uh, you know, minor things like this, I wanted to do the signing of the papers at the masjid in order for my family being non-Muslim, to this would really be the only opportunity that I could see them coming to a masjid and to seeing what the mosque is inside. They might be surprised, but you know, in itself would be a form of da'wah. And then after that, we could go back to their place and celebrate. But their tradition has it where it's all done at their place. And that was an uphill battle trying to obtain that. And ultimately, it wasn't going to be like that. So ultimately, we didn't get married. Generally, my, my lifestyle was probably just regular, nothing too exciting. Monday to Friday, work. Um, then back home, nothing out of too much of the ordinary. Come the weekend, basically, um, I'd be involved in going to nightclubs, uh, taking drugs, selling drugs, alcohol, uh, nightclubs, women. Um, not that I'm trying to portray that I was a, a, a playboy as such, but I was just young and uh, totally misguided, looking back now. And um, that was basically my, just a regular routine, basically with no direction and uh, just wasting my time, in a sense. Coming into Islam, alhamdulillah, it's like having no directions and needing a de destination to go, and coming to a roundabout and all the roads look the same, um, but you're told which road to take. Even though there's no signage, there's a road of which to take, and you know, regardless of what that road will be like, that will get you to a destination. And that's exactly what Islam has done for me, alhamdulillah. It is now giving me direction, purpose, um, uh, a sense, I guess, of uh, fulfillment uh, and uh, regardless of what's ahead, I know, alhamdulillah, Islam uh, is the only way to go, alhamdulillah. No, not really, alhamdulillah, my parents' uh, family have been understanding, I guess with the uh, Australian culture, my parents not being religious, uh, there, is, there is tolerance and I've never really felt any uh, no negativity towards my choice of accepting Islam. Initially, I guess they looked at it as a phase I was going through uh, that was mentioned. Um, uh, I wouldn't say negativity in the sense of them saying, this is wrong, what are you doing? You can't do this, don't bring it here, don't involve us. Uh, but negativity in the sense of uh, uh, some slight arrogance perhaps on certain uh, members in, when it comes to explaining certain aspects of Islam uh, because the only real form of um, av well, advertisement, I guess you could say, or portrayal of Islam in this country is just extremely negative and just straight out false and based on absolute lies. So therefore it's hard when trying to explain to them, for example, the treatment of women, uh, which unfortunately, unfortunately the Muslims themselves play a major part in, in uh, why we have this perception of it being negative. Uh, regardless of what they tell them, what they're seeing out there in a lot of the cases, especially by the media, it just backs up their theory that it's bad and we treat them badly, which is just complete rubbish and lies. So in order to explain to them, it's actions speak louder than words. So now I'm at the point where... Um, we were just trying to learn about Islam and to work on my character and inshallah just by my actions and how I treat my wife, uh, children, alhamdulillah um, and I react with my family being non-Muslim, inshallah that will dispel the myth that uh, you know we're, uh, we men are oppressive to our women and uh, you know, violent perhaps and all, all these lies and, and uh, misconceptions about Islam. Inshallah, over time they will see the truth. 
and um, dispel that myth, inshallah.